All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. Go ahead and check me out on anthonysmoke.com. Follow me on Twitter at Anthony Smoke. Today, uh, we're back in Tableau. We're going to be talking about uh, clustering, uh, K-means clustering in uh, Tableau. So what is K-means clustering and why would you need to do it? So uh, K-means clustering or clustering, uh, you're trying to discover patterns in large data sets, right? You're subdividing a population uh, into groups based upon shared characteristics. And those groups have not been explicitly labeled within the data. So why would you need to do that? Let's say you got customer data and you need to somehow classify those customers for a specific uh, campaign, right? Uh, or any sort of data where there's no obvious way to distinguish groups via manual inspection. You can use a clustering algorithm in uh, Tableau. So the K in K means is simply a variable that represents a number of groups resulting from the process. So uh, let's get straight into this. So I've got some NBA data. Uh, finally have 2018 uh, NBA stats. If you uh, look at any of my other uh, videos, I'm, I'm always using 2017. So uh, finally decided to go to 2018 here. So what we're going to do, I'll explain the analysis uh, as, as I build this here. So let's drag, and these are statistics per game. I'm going to take uh, assists, drag that to columns, and I'm going to take blocks put that on rows we're going to go to analysis and unaggregate these and what I have here I've got data points that um, that represent uh, assists here on the x-axis and blocks on the y-axis and these are only for the point guard and center uh, positions within uh, the NBA so I uh, use a data source filter to make sure I'm only looking at point guards and centers, right? You would expect centers to uh, to uh, lie along the y-axis, and you would expect point guards to lie along the x-axis, right, for uh, blocks and assists, uh, respectively. So we're going to take a look here. This is what, uh, what we're going to call a golden copy. Let's put position on color. And I want to, I only want to look at guys that have 41 games, right? Let's, let's get some of the noise out of there, right? So if you played at least half a season, we want you uh, involved in our analysis, right? And let's drag the, um, let's drag some stuff to detail here. Let's drag uh, games, drag that to detail, um, the uh, position to detail, and let's drag the, um, the player player to detail so that way when I go to the points I can take a look and see who's who uh, you can see I've got centers here uh, along the uh, the y-axis and it looks like I've got point guards here along the x-axis just as I predicted and you know some outliers here right so uh, Nikola uh, Jokic uh, he's a he is a special kind of center right he has really good hands for a big man he can really pass I'll probably uh, post a YouTube video of him passing uh, uh, on my blog uh, post uh, where, where I show this video, but uh, he's a special case there. Uh, when I do clustering, though, we'll check and see, but we, we would expect to see some of these guys within here misclassified because it's so close together, right? Um, but anyway, so this is our golden copy here for the uh, position analysis. So let's look and see how the, uh, the clustering, the k-means clustering algorithm would work uh, on, that, on that same data. So we're going to do the same things, right? We're going to go up to assists, and we're going to drag that to columns, and we're going to take blocks, put that on rows. Let's take our games, um, right? Let's go to the filters, all values, because I want it to be at a row level, 41 games. And I still want to uh, go to analysis, and let's unaggregate the, uh, the measures here. So as you can see, I still have the, uh, the same thing, uh, basically. And now what we're going to do differently, we're going to go to the analytics pane, and we're going to take uh, cluster, right, and drag that here. And as you can see, uh, the cluster algorithm wants to give us three different uh, clusters based upon uh, assists and blocks. So, uh, you know, these would obviously be centers. These would be point guards. And so what I think it's doing, it's saying, you know, this is a combination of point guards and centers, but maybe these guys don't play enough minutes to rack up enough blocks to be definitely characterized as a center or enough cis to definitely be characterized as a point guard. So it's given us this third cluster. But we know there are two clusters, so let's just put two. We can, we can change the default number. I'm going to oops, hit X here. 
And, you know, as you can see here, we've got uh, two clusters. So the next thing I'm going to do, we can, I'm going to hold down control and drag the clustering uh, in, into these, this area over here in the dimensions. And what it does, is it, it creates a group, right? And we can edit that group. Uh, I'm going to, uh, let's rename it. Let's name it point guard uh, versus center cluster. And we can go in here and edit the group. And cluster one, just taking a look at these stats here, um, all the numbers are very low, so, you know, for blocks and assists, so um, it's a good guess that these are the centers, and that would make cluster two the point guards. So let's call that PG, and we've got C, and so we've got unclustered values, or not clustered. These are um, values that were filtered out because we said we wanted 41 games or greater. So I'm going to say OK on that. And, you know, now that we have that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a, uh, a Boolean, right? Let's create a calculated field. Um, and let's call it uh, cluster match, right? And it's going to be our newly created group. We're going to take that, drag that in here. I'm going to use equal, equal, because I'm not going to assign. And it's equal to uh, the position, right? Uh, I want to make, want to make sure that that took position all right so there you go what I'm saying is hey just uh, just take a look to see return true or false if our group uh, classification matches the true position classifications let's say okay there right and what we can do um, you know we, we have something that looks very similar to the true uh, position analysis right but let's go in here and let's take a look at misidentified players right uh, let's take our um, uh, our true, uh, I'm sorry, our cluster match, true or false. Let's drag that to rows. And we're going to filter games again. All right. All values. We're going to say at least 41. All right. And once we do that, let's drag in, um, uh, right, we got cluster match there. Let's drag in the position. All right. Uh, let's drag in the player. I'm just going to double click there. Uh, let's drag in the uh, uh, let's drag in the team, all right? All right. And then for cluster match, we're also going to put that in filters, and we only want to see mismatches, so we want false. Let's click OK. And now we can take a look. Oh, let's drag some stats in here. Let's drag uh, maybe assists. Obviously, our two uh, fields that we're analyzing, assists and blocks. There we go. And let's let's drag in minutes per game too, right? So as you can see, these are point guards that the cluster analysis thinks are centers. Um, and you look at the assists and the blocks. It's not a lot of assists, not a lot of blocks. And, you know, a basketball game is what, uh, 12, uh, you know, 48 minutes, so, you know, 12-minute quarters times four. So 48 minutes. So these guys don't get a lot of minutes. So just like I said, um, you know, not a lot of assists, not a lot of blocks. So the model could be forgiven for thinking that these maybe these were uh, centers that don't start. Um, but these are these are pretty decent players here as well. So Michael Michael Carter-Williams, Tyler Innes, shout out to Syracuse University. Um, and then, like I said, Nikola Jokic, uh, look at this, six assists per game from a center. This guy's almost a seven-footer. He's like six foot 11. Um, that's, that's pretty good. That's a statistical outlier from the center position. So the model can be forgiven for thinking that uh, Nikola is a point guard, right? Um, so let's let's go here. Let's do this. Uh, let's do this analysis uh, as well. Um, we're gonna create a true false sheet again. Uh, same thing. Let's grab our let's grab our games. Make sure we're uh, on all values, and we're gonna make this forty one, right? And uh, we're going to uh, drag the cluster match. Let's see, cluster match. We're gonna drag that to rows, right? And let's take a look at the uh, the number of uh, records, right? So let's uh, let's double click on number of records. Let's change that to a uh, a uh, bar chart. There, I like to get rid of this. Let's unclick on show headers, um, formatting. Sorry, let me just do this real quick. Oops, sorry. Um, let's go to sheet. Make sure those are none. Okay, that's none. Columns. None. All right, get rid of that. So anyway, we got true and false here. Let's uh, make this a little bigger. And let's take our number of records and put that on the label. And we're going to, oops, there we go. We got 138. I think we're going to have to go in here and allow labels to overlap. 
And then finally, let's take our, um, our cluster match and put that on color. And as you can see, uh, there are 13 mismatches and 138 true. 13 mismatches out of what? How many marks? 151 marks. What's that? About 8% somewhere in there. So that's, that's not bad at all. And then finally, we can take our, let's take our uh, position analysis. Let's take our cluster analysis. Put that here. Uh, let's clean this up a little bit. Yeah, delete that. That's fine. And let's do that. And let's take our, uh, our true false. Bring that up to the top. And let's do that. You know, let's, let's get rid of this. Let's hide that title. And let's do some, just doing some, uh, some formatting here. Let's look at the entire view here. I uh, probably should have put this in an object so that, uh, that, w that it would automatically space out uh, for us. I'm just going to drag some, uh, some text up here to the, uh, to the top really quick. And what do we want to call this? Let's call this um, cluster analysis here. Let's do this. Control A. Uh, make this nice and big. Let's uh, make the font font bold here. Let's see how that looks. Okay. Let's size that up a little bit. And let's, let's find, let's make use this as a filter. So now if we take a look at this, again, this is our true position analysis, and this is our cluster analysis. So if I click on the, uh, the trues, right, you'll see that there's a lot of overlap between what the true golden copy position analysis results are and what uh, the Tableau K-means clustering uh, was able to surmise, right? Like an old-timey kind of politician who was very good at segregating out the populations here. Um, if I go into uh, false, I can see that these are my only players that were misidentified. These point guards, the cluster analysis thinks uh, are centers. Uh, if we go over here, you'll see that the cluster analysis is trying to uh, recluster the points that are left. Just ignore that. And there's uh, Nikola uh, Jokic right here. If we go here, right, uh, six assists per game, point, uh, 6.1 assists per game against Steph Curry. Uh, gets about six assists per game uh, as a point guard. So that's pretty impressive. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this kind of analysis. You can see that the uh, the Tableau cluster analysis is very powerful. It's, uh, it's very accurate. Uh, hope you found this useful. Take this tip, get out there and do some good things with your data. Thanks for watching, everyone.